Coming up in this episode, a look at the sales so far in what is turning out to be my busiest month ever on eBay. Hello and welcome once again to M Cubed. I am Brian, the Motley Mix Merchant, thus the three M's from M Cubed. Glad you could join me for this, another What Sold on eBay episode. Haven't done one of these for a little while, and it's just past the middle of May, so I thought I'd take a look back. So far, it is, what is today? Today is the 17th while I'm taping this, and I have already made 28 sales so far in the first 17 days of May. That is by far my highest number ever for just being past the halfway point, and it has been phenomenal and busy and lots of sourcing as well. Online auctions have been super, super busy. In fact, I have to go online to take part in one as soon as I'm done taping this. So let's get to it. Here's a look at, and now I'm going to, not going to go through all of them. We did talk about a few in the last What Sold episode. So right now, I'm going to skip a few of the very smaller ones that I did make. I did sell a few things at fairly reduced prices just to get things moving, but made some good sales so far this month. So let's get started. First off, one of the cowboy hats sold. If you remember, actually, I'm going to move over. There we go. If you remember, I picked up a couple of cowboy hats at online, an online auction about a month ago. I couldn't believe nobody wanted the cowboy hats here in Southern Ontario. Got two really nice cowboy hats for $3, and one of them sold for a very nice price of $42, plus $17 towards the shipping. It was the John Stetson hat, a nice brown beaver uh, felt. So uh, it had a lot of action, a lot of watchers, a lot of views, a lot of, um, a lot of interest, and uh, finally got a few offers, and this one was the one that I decided to accept at $42. So... I paid $1.50 for that hat, so good return on that one. Another Demitas cup and saucer set. I just, as long as I have them in stock, they sell uh, teacups and Demitas cups and saucers. This one was a Gloria brand. Uh, Bay Ruth was the uh, name on the back as far as the design goes, and it sold for $20 with free shipping, and it was so light, cost me $4 to ship, and so uh, another good return that one. 50 cents max for the cost on that one. Sold an FM tuner CD MP3 player. It was by Insignia. It was just in the bottom of a box that I picked up at one of my table sales back around Christmas time or just after Christmas in the new year. Uh, sold that for a pretty good price too. $28 with $6 towards the shipping. Had a remote control on the wired headphones and that was a very uh, good selling feature for that one. So uh, glad to see that one go. And again, that the cost to all, the, I'm not going to start talking about the costs anymore. My average cost per item right now is about a dollar. Uh, it's gone up a little bit because of some of my recent online sales, uh, online purchases for stock. But yeah, it's about a dollar for all my stock right now in my 425 listings. So uh, I'm not even going to bother saying how much everything's worth, but uh, I'll tell you what I got for them. That's for sure. A very nice sale here. A uh, lady was messaging me back and forth, uh, making offers on two separate ceramic floral bouquets. One was a Royal Albert and the other one was an Ainsley. Uh, gave her quite a good discount on them. She was really interested in buying the two of them. So I gave her really, really good discount. The total price for both of them, I sold them for $28 with $15 towards the shipping. Uh, she was a Canadian buyer. So luckily she was in Ontario though. So it's going to uh, not go too far. Uh, the $15 US pretty much paid for all the shipping. And again, $28 is a great return on those two ceramic floral bouquets. Sold a green glass apple paperweight. It was a signed, uh, fairly well-known artist, makes the uh, glass paperweights. Uh, just sold this one for $14 with uh, a free pickup. Actually met the gentleman halfway between my place and Toronto. He was from the other side of Toronto, from the other side near Toronto. Uh, so we met up in a mutually acceptable middle spot because I had to go to Toronto that day to do a shipping and met him halfway back and uh, handed it off to him in the parking lot of a gas station. And so all good. $14 for, again, something cost me less than a dollar. The big, huge chalkware Asian wall hangings sold. The man and the lady that I picked up at online auction about three, four weeks ago sold them for $50 plus $15 towards the shipping. And surprisingly, as big as they were and as big as the box had to be to hold them, the shipping wasn't that much. The $15 US covered the cost of the shipping. So I made $50 profit on those two Asian wall hangings 
that again cost me about a dollar fifty two dollars total um, paid a little bit more for those in an online auction lot so great great return on those I, I they were beautiful pieces and I'm glad they went to uh, Florida I think they're on their way to Florida they're there already they went to Florida this was an interesting sale the show was called Kenny versus Spenny and it was a Canadian uh, a Canadian based show basically two friends trying to outdo each other kind of the original jackass kind of thing uh, but they um, sold for $25 I had the complete season one and two DVD sets so for $25 plus $10 towards the shipping and it was going to California which was short, sort of surprising because it's very well known in Canada not so well known everywhere else but uh, purchased in California and it's already arrived it's interesting with the shipping in the last month or so some stuff taking two days to get to California from here and other stuff took two and a half weeks to get from here to Virginia it was just crazy the way things were going with the US Postal Service so anyhow the good news is before you continue on my local cross-border shipping company has opened again it opened this past week for for business again you have to make an appointment in 15 minute increments they've got appointments set up uh, they're only open about five hours a day so you can only come in at a certain time you have to have an appointment to drop off your packages I'm just basically making an appointment every three days because I, I've been so busy I know I'm going to be shipping something every two or three days so um, I've got to go again on Tuesday and ship something again so it, it, it's great though saving me four hours of my time uh, maybe two and a half three hours of my time and fifteen dollars worth of gas every single time I get to use them instead of having to go to Toronto to do my cross-border shipping so 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 happy with that and, and and it's interesting now that the stuff's going through my local cross-border shopping company it seems to be moving a lot faster through USPS I don't know maybe just a coincidence we'll see I sold a Barbie doll set I've had this one since last summer picked it up at the thrift store probably for about three to five dollars and it sold for twenty dollars with free shipping and that went to Brooklyn I do believe uh, fairly light so it didn't cost me much to ship it at all so maybe ten dollars profit on that one which is fine it's been around for well over nine months in my store so good to see that go and I hope the young lady that has it enjoys it another thing that sold that was a little old is an old photo it was a picture of a former captain of the Toronto Maple Leafs hockey team uh, his name was Bob Davidson he went on to become a scout for the Leafs and become one of the most famous scouts in uh, all of National Hockey League history anyhow um, that was again at the bottom of a box picked up at auction on a table lot uh, so very little cost to me ended up going for $14 on a best offer plus $8 towards the shipping because it was a Canadian buyer um, so it, it's still on its way there this is another thing Canada Post is super super backed up right now I saw another youtuber say he had been talking to people at Canada Post and there's about 150 to 200 trucks backed up at the Toronto Canada Post sorting station waiting to be unloaded and have their packages scanned and started on the system just even started there's a almost 200 truck delay and they say do not expect your things to get scanned the first time for at least five to seven business days here in Canada right now so it's it's crazy with the shipping it really really is and uh, hopefully things are starting to even out a little bit where you are right now it's as I say it's great for me because my local company has reopened I get to ship things directly to the USPS outlet in Niagara Falls New York through them and it gets basically I drop it off in the afternoon and it gets scanned over the river in New York State that same night so I'm definitely not getting any strikes for delayed scans and delayed tracking numbers and that kind of thing so it's working really really well and uh, it, it's it's been a crazy month doing a lot of packing and a lot of shipping but also doing a lot of listing and doing a lot of sourcing as well just to try and to keep the flow going and I'm picking up some great things um, but yeah it's 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 been busy just before I carry on to the last batch of the sold items here just want to ask you to do me a favor if you would please hit the like button down below if you have liked any of my previous videos or this video it does help others who are looking for this kind of thing find the video and to get it recommended to them by YouTube if you would please hit that like button down below and of course if you're not a subscriber already I invite you to follow along on this entire Canadian eBay reseller journey and hit the subscribe button and then hit the bell to be notified every time a new episode is uploaded now this last batch 
of sold items is all related and that's why i was holding it off to the last the, those were in chronological order pretty much but this last batch i put them all together because what's happened is i have found a bolo that i am absolutely thrilled with and that i'm doing my best to continue and pick up as much of this as i can my local auction house in niagara falls over the last two weeks and again tonight and again next week they've split up this huge lot they are selling remote control car parts now these are vintage new old stock still new in the bag vintage remote control car parts they picked up an entire lot of an estate of somebody who used to own a remote control shop they used to sell the stuff out of their shop and the gentleman passed away four years ago i think my buddy told me and the estate finally sold off the inventory to my auction house that i usually go to and they've been selling off 20 30 50 lots every single week for the past three weeks and again next week as well when it first started i mean i've been really bored sitting around the house doing nothing so i researched every single listing and every single part to see if there's any resale value in it well there is there was three weeks ago there was last week there is tonight and there is a lot of resale value next week so i've been picking up rc parts and they've been selling very very well i've sold eight batches of rc car parts in the last two bit week two weeks i just got my first batch two weeks ago tonight listed them was before it was tuesday so not even two weeks ago now that i started listing these remote control parts i've sold eight listings so far total of 10 items one of the listings had three items in it and that was three gas tanks the range has been from 15 to 120 dollars for these car parts with some fairly good sized parts for sale in the middle i've sold over 245 dollars worth of remote control car parts in the last under two weeks with a total investment so far of 42 dollars there's more going on tonight there's more going on next week and i think the week after and then i'm going to be talking to my friends they don't know this really yet but they might if they watch this video i'm going to talk to them about maybe doing a bulk buy of anything that they don't sell at the auctions and that they're think is played out and it's not going to make sense to lot a whole bunch of stuff together if they've got about 50 100 bags left over at the end of it all even if it's got a small resale value i'm going to try and get a very good deal on a box lot at the very end but yeah it's been great with these rc car parts and um who knew I, I just was really bored so i researched everything and i started to really really realize that especially these new old stock these are about probably 15 to 20 years old some of these parts but they're still brand new in the bag and you can't buy them anymore especially if you have an older model remote control car so i'm doing really well with them i can't wait to see what i'm able to pick up tonight and next week I already have my eye on a few things in next week's auction so that's made up eight of my 28 sales so far in may and that's just been in the last 12 days already so it's been great i'm really really excited about how these rc car parts are working out for me unfortunately now though because they've been putting them every week in the in the auctions we're starting to get around i think because the prices are going up this week i already can see that the pre-bidding is a lot higher than it has been for the last two weeks i'm not going to be able to jump in and snipe something for a very very cheap price with absolutely no cross bidders and then have something that will resell for 25 dollars that i pick up for three bucks that's not going to happen tonight i don't think so that's one of the offsets of the fact that this remote control auction has been spread out over four different auctions it's starting to really gain a lot of interest and gain a lot of i think there's word of mouth in the rc community that they're selling off this stuff so we'll see what happens tonight I, i'm still excited about picking up a few parts and adding it onto my collection i think right now i have about 15 lots on the ebay store for sale and some of the lots have multiple units inside of them so you know it's it's been great and that's my that's my bolo of the month for me and for you if you find them but just don't try and buy mine okay <laughs> anyhow it's been a great great start to the month of may 28 sales in 17 days i'm super super pumped about the way things are going and i'm glad i have the time to take care of things right now uh, but i'm i'm all good because the 
province of Ontario reopened the golf courses as of yesterday. So I figure we're not going to be back to the casino in another six weeks or so. So I've got a good month and a half of golfing in front of me um, before I have to even think about going back to work. So my buddies and I, we're ready to go. So that's, that's how things are going. So coming up in a, the next video, I'm going to show you my haul from a hoarder house that I was invited to pick through by my ceramic and glass contact up in Toronto. He gave me a mess, sent me a message and invited me up to help him clean out a hoarder house in Toronto. It was a hoarder house, all right. I've got a little bit of video to show you during that video, that episode. But I picked up some pretty good items for a pretty good price that the gentleman was happy with when I paid him in the end. And uh, that's going to be in my next video for sure. But right now, I am off to get ready for tonight's online live auction. I hope to pick up more RC control parts. And there's a couple of other things that I have my eye on as well. So I just want to wish everybody all the best. Please stay safe if you are now heading out to your recently reopened thrift stores. Keep your social distancing, wear your masks, that kind of thing. And I hope it is uh, fruitful for you and that they start to get some of the good stuff out on the shelves very shortly because I hear that the shelves are pretty bare when they reopen because they haven't had a chance to get the stuff back out there yet. But anyhow, I wish you all the best with your thrifting and your reselling. And I do want to say thank you very much for dropping by. I will see you again very soon on another episode of M-Cubed. Cheers, everybody. Oh,